It is likely that you'll want to produce a page showing some photographs of species used in the design. So I've created a new layer. I've removed the floating viewport that's created automatically. And what I want now to do is to find some images to put on the page. For that, I'm going to use our sample database, our personal plant database um, application that you receive when you buy a copy of GK+. And what I'm going to do is go back to the beginning. It's a small sample database uh, of some 48 species. My working one has about 250 species that I know and that I can work with. But here I digress. In this design, I know there's a rhododendron and a flag iris that have been used. So I can say to find view. Let's click in here and say find rhodo and click find. That finds rhododendron. We click it and edit the record and we are returned back to the data record as number 39 of 48. But what this does, it stores the path on my computer, the location of that file. So I'll use Control C and copy, go straight back onto the page, use draw, raster image and add. And we now have the path, so we can simply go Control V and paste that path in. And now we've found the drawing and we can insert it. So here we go, we'll insert it and sit it like so. So there's a high resolution, I'll take the grid off, high resolution view of the rhododendron. We can put some text in here. Let's return to the plant database application and go back to the find view. We'll click and type in their flag, that should find the flag iris, and it does. We can do the same thing. Go to edit record, there's the path to it. Return to our GCAD Plus, draw, raster image, add one, paste the path in, and then insert it into the drawing. I'll zoom out a little, and maybe we line up the left edge, and we do something like that. So can you see, once again, we've got a good high resolution image. We'll be able to print this page with its photographs and some, maybe some detail of each particular plant on the page. So I hope you see that the combination of the plant data file application and GCAD Plus work well. Of course, if you're highly organized and you keep all your photographs of your plants um, at the appropriate resolution, and all neatly filed away, you can find your own um, your own images and then put them on the page. It's a simple matter then to go back to your your plan, pick your logo and um, title block information. We'll copy those to the clipboard. Come back here to photos and paste from the clipboard and put them in. Put our rectangle down using the two point option, like so. Select the rectangle and give it a corner radius. I'll make a corner radius of 10 units. And we've now got a little curving corner, and our logo and title block information sits there nicely. To update that title information, just explode it and you can zoom in on it and replace the XXX with the client's name, date and other information you want about this particular page.